Um, there's this black woman by the name of uh, Taraji P. Henson, Henson, and she is a so-called Oscar-nominated black actress. She only got it because of affirmative action, not that she did good. She didn't earn it. Affirmative action gave it to her. But uh, she's a so-called Oscar, Oscar-nominated black actress, best known for her role in Empire. I've never watched that. I've seen it on TV while I'm flipping through. And the film Hustle and Flow. Well, she was recently interviewed by Variety magazine to celebrate the foundation which she opened back in 2018 in memory of her late father. She also, um, oh, that's her? Yeah. Yeah. Gross. She also appeared on the cover of Variety magazine as one of the 2019 Power of Women nominees. One thing I want to clear up, women are not strong and they don't have power. It's just that men are weak. Women are not strong. Men are weak. And if somebody give you fake power by putting you on TV and give you money, that's not real power. That's bought power. That's not real power. All right? Just FYI. But anyway, do we have a cover of her on that magazine? I wasn't given. Oh, okay. This from uh, this woman is apparently she is she has mental health issues. Anybody surprised? Raise your hand. This is from Variety. Variety. In the uh, interview, she opened up about her struggle with mental health issues and how her father also dealt with these same problems. Here we go. I find it very interesting that we can talk about things like breast cancer or tumors or thyroid, but overall health in the black community, we never mention mental health. The Boris Lawrence Henson Foundation is named after my father who has passed away. He suffered from his own mental issues being a Vietnam vet. We launched this foundation to eradicate the stigma surrounding mental illness in the African-American community. Amazing. With that uh, white thing on her shoulder and she's sitting in his room with those bars behind her, look like she's in an insane asylum. <laughs> Didn't it look like she's sitting in an insane asylum? I didn't even think about it until you pointed it out. <laughs> <laughs> she's mental, all right. Man, she look like she's in a sane asylum with no makeup on the like. It is crazy how most celebrities talk about these things when they, they honestly don't know. And they want to bring it. bring the yeah. shame, the stigma out of it. This is crazy. Woman, if you want to overcome that mental health issue, drop your anger. Drop it. Return to your father, love him, forgive your mother, and you'll be fine. You cannot be a, a have mental health issues if you don't have anger. Perfect love, which is from God, casts all that out. This woman also said uh, to uh, to Raji also said that this was not a man's world. This is a man's world, but it wouldn't be nothing. Nothing without a woman or girl. Uh, she said, this was not a man's world, and that men can't get into the world without women. Amazing. And I don't think this is about a uh, sex battle, men against women. I think this is about how we can come together and be great together. It shouldn't be about, it's just a man's world. Men can't get into the world without us, so... <laughs> Not true. Not true. Number one, Adam got into the world without a woman. <laughs> Adam got into the world without a woman. And nowadays you can take a man private stuff and put it in a bottle and a baby will come. <laughs> so she lying. And as James Brown said, this is a man's world. 
This is a man's world. But it would be nothing, nothing without a woman or a girl. We're Jane Brown now. I uh, rest my case. Back in a moment, more of this woman with the mental health issues. Overcome the anger, woman, you'll be fine. Back in a moment. Uh, here's this woman, uh, Taraji. She said that she mentioned that she know, knows her worth and isn't afraid to walk away when the offer is right. The biggest challenge that I face still in my career is getting my money. I still have to fight for it. No, and but like just we live in a something. world where people are always trying to get a bargain. You can't bargain on my talent. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not afraid to walk away because I know what I offer. Affirmative action. Um, this woman, Tarji, want more women in Hollywood to be in charge. A lot of work needs to be done in Hollywood for equal pay, inclusivity. I need to see more female directors. Heads of studios need to change. Just things need to be more inclusive, all inclusive across the board. We can use more. We have a lot of work to do, ladies. See how insane this woman is? This woman is not strong. She's not a good actress. She's an affirmative action uh, act actress, and she's against men. Why you need more women in Hollywood? You need more men there to run things. Hollywood's falling apart because the men are beta now and are being forced out. And the last one, she says, women have power and that it's selfish for them to hide their power. When you have knowledge or you have a privilege or you have an upper hand, that means you're a blessing. And that means it's you not. have some sort of power. Use it in a good way to help others become powerful. Don't keep it to yourself. That's kind of selfish. Oh, <laughs> we should empower each other. Not true, folks. The only power is the power of God working through you. There's no other power. Money is not power. This fake power that people think they got because they got a little money is not real. They have deceived you into believing that. It's not real, folks. Look how the great white hope, that's real power from within. Uh, Periscope, Ms. Brown, Skins, says, you would never tell her that to her face. Yes, I would. I would love to tell her to her face. She's lying. She's a fake actress. She's an affirmative action actress. She didn't earn it. And if you notice, more and more black people are into the entertainment world now, guess how they got there? By accusing the whites of being racist. And the weak whites gave in. And now you have a mess. They're giving away the awards to the blacks and everything without earning it. It's sad because it's hurt the blacks not to have to earn their way. They don't make them better people by catering to them. Let's stop pretending. Mrs. Brown, I know you mean well, Mrs. Brown Skins, but you're wrong. I'd be more than happy to talk to this woman. More than happy. Amazing. And don't forget to like, follow, tweet, subscribe, and share the Jesse Lee Peterson Radio Show, folks. We really appreciate it. We are at war. It is a spiritual battle for the soul of America. And it's going to take all of us to do it. 